In this uh, podcast, I'm going to talk about consumer theory, and I'm going to go over homework uh, from the back of chapter five, problem number seven. In the book, they give you this all these lines and everything, and I've changed the color of the lines so you can see them better. And the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all these other lines and focus in on the topic at hand. Let me get rid of all those. A little background, the price of good Y is $10. So what is income? So if the consumer spends all their income on Y, it, from the graph, you can they can buy 50. So if income is equal to 50 times $10, and that 50 again, is that 50 there? So income is equal to 10 times 50, and that 10 is from there. So income is equal to $500. So what is the good of, what is the price of good X? Now we know that income is equal to $500. In other words, if I can spend all my money on X, how much can I buy? So we know they could buy 40 maximum. So 40 times something is equal to $500. So $500 divided by 40 is equal to $12.50. That's the price of good X. So let's review, income is equal to $500. Price of X is equal to $12.50. Price of Y is equal to $10. Quantity of X is equal to $40. Quantity of Y is equal to $50. The actual equation for this line is equal to Y is equal to the income divided by price of X minus the price of X divided by price of Y times X. And, I've, and I proved that equation, I showed you the steps of that in a previous lecture. So we have Y is equal to the income, which is $500, divided by the price of Y, minus the price of X divided by the price of Y. So if I give you all these things on a test, this is the way you should solve this problem. So Y is equal to $50, Y is equal to 50 minus $1.25, times x. That would be the equation of that line. What level is consumed? The marginal rate of substitution is equal to the slope of the budget line at what point? They don't give you this, but it would be at point C. The marginal rate of substitution is equal to the slope of the budget line. So let's look at this this way. So if we look at the, the slope of the budget line at point B, they're not the same. In fact, the slope is much steeper at B, uh, marginal rate substitution, than the budget line. At C, the budget line is steeper than the marginal rate of substitution. And at C, it's just right. <coughs> Excuse me. So if the budget line shifts out, rotates out, and LM is a new budget line, the consumer will want to move to a higher indifference curve, which will be right there at point D. The slope of the budget line at D is is equal to a negative 6 0.625. Remember, there's two ways I can get the slope. One is simply the rise over the runs. It's a negative slope. And also the ratio of the prices will be the same too. That's it for problem number seven.